All right, what's up Porsche gents? Uh, today's project is something I can't find any darn information. I can't find any photos, not even on the Renline site. Uh, checked around a Ren list, looked for some videos. I didn't look super hard, but I don't think there's anything that exists. So uh, I'm gonna make this video here. It won't be a great one, but it'll be the video that captured this data. Uh, and what I'm doing is, per the title, is doing the Renline tie downs. We're about to go to the mountains. The GT4 is gonna be in my trailer. Uh, and so the better way to do that is to use tie downs. You can always run the cables or the, the straps through the tires, wheels and tires, but I think it's better to have options. And so we're gonna put this together as well as uh, add a little structural rigidity here to the rear with the little run line middle section. Uh, the problem with the, uh, with the 718, which is this one, so this is a 2020, uh, so there's a 981, which is the previous gen GT4, and then this is the this is the current gen. Uh, the problem with this is that it's all underbody panels, so I'm probably gonna have to do some trimming, uh, and I can't see where this thing actually attaches. And then I've got a scissor lift, so I'm gonna be like kind of up and down in the lift, and then working with the the jack. I'm gonna have to jack you know jack it sideways and get the, the get the underbody tray off, uh, and then maybe trim it a little bit I don't know we'll figure it out so let's work on it here together uh, but uh, what I have here these are the front ones so these are easy these are the same as uh, as the GT3s same um, same same on the GT3s and GT4s this is actually from my GT3 RS where this little black piece will kind of go up into the jack point hole uh, and then turn sideways and then you torque it down with the with the bolt uh, And then if you're ever like putting on the lift or whatever you just use this as your jack point you just put your jack pad on here and uh, Then jack the car up. No, no problem. And then you can you know grab the position for the tie downs from from this little clip here the rears are a little bit more complicated in that they're gonna go up in the car there's no picture of which way, so like these aren't even the same darn tie downs. So, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. There's no picture of how this thing actually goes. Um, I don't know, you would think they would do that if they sold these things, but I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out for us. So I'm assuming it goes rearward like this uh, and then this this rod this tie rod will go in here like that uh, So it's gonna be somewhere in the middle section of the car uh, But I'm gonna have to take the underbody panel, which is a real pain in the butt to do uh, on a scissor lift uh, So I'm gonna start to take that thing off and then we'll figure out where this attaches and then figure out what I need to do to the underbody tray how much cutting and trimming I need to do to make that work So I got the car up in the air, but let's get under and take a look all right, so you can't see anything on a 718. So I guess I'm gonna just start taking it apart. So I'll take the back section off here, this piece here, and we'll take this off. I'm thinking it's gonna be up further where this goes. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to take, I hate taking this piece off, it's a real freaking annoying. Uh, but let's just take these, this back section apart and we'll see what it looks like in there. Figures, I just changed the oil, I'm an idiot. Changed the oil a couple weeks ago. I should have tried to put the tie downs on while I had this all taken apart. It's a real pain in the butt to change the oil on this thing. It's the one time where I'd really much rather have a two post for this car and this application. So that takes this piece off. There's two little teeth here that these little tabs. These little tabs right here slide out. Let's set that aside. Oh, you know, it might be right here where the tie downs go. I don't know. So let's take this piece off.
I am slumming it here on you today. I'm shooting this by myself. I don't have a fancy camera crew here. Dump all this dirt outside. These tie downs go on here somewhere. Yeah, I think it goes right here. Boom. I think. Let's take a look. Oh, this would be awesome. We just had to trim that piece. Bingo. Haha. <laughs> nice. So I think it goes that way. Cool. I thought I was gonna have to take apart the whole freaking thing. But this part is the part that sucks to get off. Alright, so let me take these two, what are these 14 or 15 millimeters? Question is, what kind of trimming do I need to do? I might have Mike do the trimming tomorrow because he would do it much prettier than I'm going to end up doing it. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Glad I didn't quit though. At first glance, I was ready to. Throw in the towel. So we reuse these two bolts. Oops, the old scissor lift strikes again. That'd be an awesome. You can do pretty much everything except for take that one plate off of the, of the GT4. So what I'm saying is this plate comes down through here, and so my jack points get in the way of the, getting the bolts off, and so you have to do it on the, on the ground to get that plate off, this underbody tray off, and you need to get that off to do the oil change. This little bro goes right here. No wonder they don't give us any instructions. You don't need any. This is easy. It's kind of an interesting size. This is a, uh, a seven millimeter bolt. Hex. Seven millimeter hex bolt. Hex. Yeah. Now this thing is adjustable. like a sway bar end link right for underneath the car. Ugh. Reverse thread, like a sway bar end link. That's pretty slick. Give me a little structural rigidity here for all that corner and I'm gonna be doing in the mountains. Since this is gonna become a mountain workhorse car <clears throat> and making me want to get PPF done so I guess I'm probably gonna have to trim this whole piece out here nice the two bolts here two bolts there these then bolt and then I can still, like this will still move if I wasn't well, such sissy hands, but this, you see how it still rotates a bit. I think kind of like a sway bar end link. And we got ourselves a little, little brace with some tie downs, tie down capability. So I'm thinking I may not need to trim any of this up top here. I might only need to just cut these little two pieces out here that and we'll see what that looks like now what the heck should I cut this with I think that's how we'll do it I think you can always trim it on the car if you need to so there's our there's our hole I'm gonna do the same thing
Come up to like there somewhere. Just trying to make it somewhat symmetrical. It's gonna look something like that. Come across like that. And then what I'm doing taking simple razor blade and just cutting it out. Just push down, cut through. Not like cutting your Porsche. I'm sure this isn't cheap to replace. Should be it. And cut it all out. So let's just see as we tighten this down if I need to cut out for that bar, which I don't think I'm going to need to do. That's pretty darn slick. I mean to trim it off to the right a little bit here. Let me trim that a little bit. Now, let's put this back on. I'm glad I did this. This is freaking easy. Why don't I count my chickens? I think I'm gonna have to trim the edge of this sucker. Cause I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to trim, just kind of shave this little, little bit here. Probably gonna need to take a lot more than that off, but let's just do it a little bit at a time. In order for this to happen, I have to like lop this whole thing off right like to right here. So what's happening is that new bar that we put in there is hitting the edge of this thing. Now these holes and tabs will hold it all together. So even though I'm cutting this off, I think we're gonna be safe to it's not going to go anywhere. Keep my fingers out of the way. Okay, so we're going in here. These all line up. Now I've gotten past, so my little trim thing worked here. But the problem I'm having is that these aren't quite long enough. These, these screws, bolts, aren't quite long enough to reach. reaching because this can't quite push up the way that it did before but regardless that, that tie rod is going to be in the way even if I trim this so I think it would be good if I could just get this to grab Bulging a little bit. 
think it's solid. It's not ideal. There's a little bulge there. I think we're okay. So clearly this is not like perfectly designed for a 718. But there's definitely a little, you know, it's sitting right up on that bar. I mean, you could cut this thing short, but I think that kind of defeats the purpose of the underbody panel, but it's not going anywhere. It's pretty good. You want them to be tight enough where they don't back out. But it doesn't sit up flush like it did before. And if I pull it too tight, I just wonder, hope these don't fall out. Let me show you what I'm working with here. So we cut that. And then you see these two, you can see the, you can see the screw and you can see the, through the hole, you can see the little brace. I don't know. I think it's good. All right, it's raining crazy, so it's really loud out here. But what I gotta do is put this side on. Super simple. Check out this jack. This thing is nuts. This is called the uh, Shop Boss, and uh, this is the super, super low version. I'm having them put a different wheel on here because if you were to jack up on the Swiss tracks, it would actually divot the Swiss tracks, but since I'm just jacking it up on the lift, works out pretty well. And then I've got the uh, little jack pads from Smoking GTS on Renlist. So you find your little jack point here. Jack. Get started. Yeah, so we'll have these jacks in the store here soon, but they're two Gs. It's all anodized aluminum freaking awesomeness. I figure I've had so many jacks over the years that I've spent two, three, four hundred bucks on. They were terrible. So now I got one that's completely rebuildable, serviceable, the whole nine. And yeah, it costs more, but I'll have it for a long, long time. All right, so you take this piece. It's hard to show you because I'm on the ground here, but it goes, you'll see when you do it, it goes right on the Right on the jack point, and then you point the tow hook toward, or not the tow hook, the tie down, you point it toward the front wheels. All right, so I think my audio might have failed there, but you saw I, I put the side pieces on there. Do that real quickly. And then I'm just gonna tighten, just check all my lugs here. And then we'll check our tire pressures. And I'm gonna vacuum the interior. I think the GT4 is like 110. I really like, I bought the real fancy digital ones, but I like this, the Sonic Click version. Much more. If you're not familiar, these wheels, these are from a Signature. I would really dig them. First, I hated them when I got them in the box. I thought they looked kind of, kind of cheesy, cheap feel looking, but man, they're great. The offsets are amazing. I'm gonna get some different center caps that match up a little better, that are blank, 
That way I can put like a GT4 logo on it or no logo, maybe. So they look a little bit more OE. So I got my airlines all set up in here now. And this is our new hose, new OG hose. This new Continental hose is freaking awesome. Oh man, is it good. And I love this tire inflator. And I actually like the one with the little clip on better. This is called a Kira One from a PCL. We have these, I think we have these in stock. We certainly have them in the store. I think they're in stock. If not, you can reserve your spot, but it's super helpful. You guys buy stuff from me. So this needs to be 2933. 31.6. But yeah, I can, if you want to set up like this garage, I can dial all this in for you. We now have the ability, I mean, I can do, we, with our design team and everything, we can do every square inch of your garage, like, you know, with every part and piece, your entire air system. This is a three-stage, I forget what they call it, Prevost filter system on a silent piston compressor. It's freaking the dream, man. All right, so that's a wrap on today's shenanigans Porsche gents my uh, my GT3 touring will be here soon and we'll be doing all kinds of stuff to that uh, but this Porsche is about to go to the mountains it'll probably stay in the mountains I just bought a house there that uh, we're gonna turn into a destination where you could borrow it from me if you want but uh, yeah thanks for watching I, I figured hey, I was like this is a stupid video to make but um, no one's made one so that's how you do a 718 GT4 with the Renline tow hooks. Uh, you could, you know, modify a little bit more. I think the way to go is to have a slight, there's a slight little hump there, but I think that's the way to go. Uh, not, and then not cut more than you have to. Uh, so you trim the little tabs on the plastic splitter. You cut the two little squares out and pretty easy project. So not too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.